Hello and welcome back to the David67 Celtic News YouTube channel. Today's video going to be a profile of a left back Celtic are said to be actively pursuing as an upgrade to Greg Taylor, who is currently the only experienced left back at Celtic. This player is called Owen Vindal, who is a player currently playing for Ajax, although he has now been made available for transfer by Ajax as they no longer consider him as part of their first team plans. Celtic uh, did have an interest in him last summer, but instead he went off on a season-long loan to uh, Antwerp in Belgium and has now been made available for transfer and Celtic are thought to be preferentially looking at him uh, as the left-back upgrade rather than Owen Beck of Liverpool who remains under consideration but more as a backup if the Vindal deal doesn't go through. I did mention him a few days ago in video along with some stats regarding him uh, because Celtic's interest in him has been ongoing and increasing. I decided to do what I often do, which is a little uh, selection collection of highlights of his uh, last couple of seasons with um, Alkmaar, his previous club, Ajax and with Antwerp. After we've had a wee look at that video, last about five minutes or so, um, we chat about his stats again and his suitability for Celtic. <laughs>
those highlights, the full versions of those two spliced together scouting videos are available elsewhere on YouTube and there are other videos and highlights of him um, over the last few years. So just a wee recap on Owen Windall, um, currently playing for Ajax, 24 years old, 5 foot 9, um, has 11 full international caps for the Netherlands, although he last played for them three years ago. He's played for three clubs so far in his career, initially Alkmaar, then moving to Ajax, then having a season-long loan at Antwerp in Belgium, and now back at Ajax, although, as I said earlier, available for transfer. And currently Celtic and Werder Bremen are, in Germany are the two clubs most actively pursuing him to become their first choice left back. In his season alone at Antwerp last season, 40 games with one goal. Looking at his whole career for Alkmaar, Ajax and Antwerp, 215 games, 5 goals and 33 assists. His season rating last season at Antwerp, 6.93 out of uh, 10, possibly most importantly, he has 10 uh, appearances in the Champions League and 41 appearances in European competitions, uh, so clearly has top-level experience at two big Dutch clubs, one big Belgian club, 11 games for his country and 41 games playing in Europe, and so is a very experienced player at the highest level and sounds ideal for Celtic. Looking at his uh, ratings, he has very good ratings for all the defensive stats, uh, clearances, um, blocks, tackles. Um, he is a couple of inches taller than um, Greg Taylor at five foot nine. Taylor being just five foot seven, just a wee bit shorter than Owen Beck, who is around the five foot ten, five foot eleven height. Um, Vindal also brings very good stats in terms of short, medium, and long passing. He has uh, okay ratings for for crosses. Um, he also shows a, a lot of pace to get to the ball, to make interceptions and tackles and blocks. Also a lot of pace driving from his left back position forward into midfield and into the final third. And also uh, earlier in his career and in some of his international games, he doubled up as a left-sided midfielder, uh, pushing that wee bit further forward. And so would be ideal for Celtic using him as a wing back or inverted fullback, which Greg Taylor very often does. And uh, to me, it does sound like uh, an excellent addition to the Celtic squad. Looking at his um, videos, five, six minute highlight package, um, you can see very good ability on the ball, very good ability to drive with the ball, holds off challenges, um, good anticipation, good reaction times, very quick to the ball, um, very good vision with his passing. Um, also, uh, there are a number of examples of his ability to send in good crosses and passes into the strikers. Um, has good finishing ability um, and a strong, powerful shot. And I think he also would be a player who would be useful at delivering corners, free kicks, um, etc. And so I think all round this it would be an excellent signing for Celtic. Um, the response to the video at the weekend, again, was there was a general consensus that um, uh, Owen Weindahl, Weindahl, um the Dutch left-back, is a potential very good uh, signing for Celtic, and I do hope that Celtic work through with Ajax over this week and get him signed by the end of the window at the end of August. Most transfer valuation sites have, have him at 5.5 million euros, and so we'd be looking for 
a price around about 4 million, although there are a few sites who are saying that uh, IAX might well look at a slightly lower fee, such as 3 million pounds rather than 4 million pounds, as they are keen to open up squad space and move him on. Um, do feel free, if you wish, to pop your own thoughts regarding him into the comment section. Um, let's see, there are quite a number of other uh, stat sites and um, video sites that you can use to, to get a fuller picture of him. If you are new to the channel and you like the, the, the this video and these general videos, please do click that subscribe button. Keep the numbers pushing nearer and nearer 900 then in the longer term, hopefully by the end of the year, up to the magic 1000 for the channel. So that ends our wee review, analysis, a look at Owen Weindahl of Ajax, who may well, over the next 10 days or so, turn into uh, our new left back as an alternative to Greg Taylor. So for today, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, a goodbye and hail, hail.